For the first time in 70 years, there will be no National Day of Prayer service held at the U.S. Capitol building on May 6th. We're going to get into all the details of it, guys. Off the top, I mentioned I am now on Rumble. Go subscribe there to me as quick as you can. That link down below. That is our backup because of the increased censorship here. Us losing our monetization. Uh, the crackdown is getting intense now. Plus, we can use your help to support our ministry, guys. If God puts that on your heart to do so, we have some links down below where you can do that. And if you sign up on Patreon, $5 a month will get you my bonus podcast. Plus, there you can comment on the YouTube videos censorship-free because YouTube is now blocking and hiding a lot of the comments that you guys post. Patreon, definitely the way to go. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Uh, like I mentioned, first time in 70 years. Should we really be all that surprised? On May 6th, the National Day of Prayer, there will be no prayer service held at the U.S. Capitol building. It's been happening every single year. The Reverend Patrick Mahoney had put out a statement on this saying that he was absolutely appalled that his First Amendment rights, just not just himself, but all of the other people as well in this country, are being completely thrown away, thrown to the side, thrown in the garbage. The Capitol building is supposed to be the people's house. But the reason that this is not taking place, this is, of course, ordered by the Biden handlers, because I'm not even going to say Biden himself, because he's not running things. I, mean, I think we all know this. Because of the events that took place on January 6th, well, we can't have any sort of an event like this go on at all. Now, for those that think that the Capitol building is closed, well, it's not really closed because everybody else, all the other workers can go in there. You know, they're, they're voting in there. They're doing all sorts of stuff. No, it's only closed to people who want to hold events and be able to, you know, utilize and, and, and practice their First Amendment rights. So, yes, not even a prayer service will be able to be held. And, of course, it's under this administration that they would do this. You would think that they would lift the restriction for just one day. But no, they can't even do it for just one day. You know why? Because these people want nothing to do with prayer. Oh, sure, they tout the fact that, oh, they're, Joe Biden is a great Catholic. No, he's not. This man is This man is nothing. This man doesn't serve God. This man served the devil. Let's be honest with ourselves here for a minute. Kamala Harris? Oh, please, please. She said she identifies as a Baptist. Sure she does. Sure she does. They do not want prayer at the U.S. Capitol. It's the last thing that they want to show. And quite frankly, this is what our country needs now more than ever before is prayer. But this is an administration that has been extremely hostile towards Christians. So this is just another step in their whole entire goal here of completely pushing God out of this country on the National Day of Prayer. Well, you're not even going to lift it for a day. No, no, they can't have that. It goes against everything that they stand for. And that is an administration against God. But let me just say this because you continue to push God further and further away from this country. He will leave the country. He will not have his protective hand over the country. Now, it doesn't mean that he won't have his protective hand over you as an individual. If you're walking with him, if you've given your life to him, he'll protect you. He'll protect your family. But I can't sit here and honestly tell you that the United States of America is going to be restored again. I can't tell you that. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But I wouldn't worry so much about whether or not that happens or not. I would put your focus and your attention on your relationship with Christ, with your family, your friends, your loved ones, making sure that you are in the right order with him. Is your life right with God? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Dude, these politicians, they're going to they're gonna keep doing everything they can to silence Christians, believers, take prayer out of everything that they can. This is an absolute disgrace. There's a lawsuit I know going on right now. I don't think that's going to go anywhere, to be honest with you. I just don't. I don't. God will deal with these people in time. He will. But as I mentioned here, getting your own life right with God. Part of our ministry here is that we are trying to get as many people to Christ as we can before it's too late. Because we are in the last days. The persecution is here, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? 
Well, if you don't, here's your opportunity. You start first by acknowledging that you are a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. Now, we need to repent of that sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just saying you're sorry. Actually, turning from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he will wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you make to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll put more information on this story down below if you guys would like to check it out. And again, if you could help us out with our ministry, guys, it is a great blessing to us. Those links are down below. You could sign up on Patreon, $5 a month, get all the bonus content, plus comment there, censorship free. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.